So you know what Saturday was? It's Earth Day. I know because I had to work and it took me forever to get here. They shut down the main streets so cars and trucks idled forever <laughs> on the avenues, <laughs> which apparently is great for the planet, like Leo, Di Leo DiCaprio's private jet. Why question reality when you have symbolism? Speaking of, there was also a march for science. They're endangering literally the entire planet for political gain in the short term. Climate change is real and we're millions of people may end up dying of it not too long in the future and it's just infuriating that people pretend it's not decided, that pretend it might not be happening. The oceans are rising, the glaciers are melting, it's insane. Oh my gosh. That didn't sound like science. And I love science. It's given us so much. Water purification, antibiotics, light bulbs, robot dinosaurs at monster truck rallies. <laughs> That's science. But still, I don't think that march for science was really for science. It was for silence. Mm. Fact is, if you hold any view critical of climate dogma, you will be smeared. Bill Nye, the science mascot for Botox reporters, <laughs> scolded CNN for having an actual real physicist on the program to debate him. And I will say, much as I love the CNN, you're doing a disservice by having one climate change skeptic and not 97 or 98 scientists or engineers concerned about climate change. Oh boy. Yeah, that would work. So you can't even have a scientist, one scientist on, to question a comedian who got his degree in mechanical engineering. See, Bill breaks the golden rule of science. He's mocking skepticism, which is the spine behind the scientific method. An actual scientist embraces debate because it sharpens their research. Look, you can still want clean air and clean water, but you can also question climate predictions too because they're often horribly wrong. But Bill paints everyone a critic as anti-science, even those who tread carefully through the data. So why should debate scare Nye? Because climate fear is his livelihood. It's his game. And if you don't play along, then you're off the field. And that way he can't lose. And so far it works. It got him a new show. So uh, if I understand this, we're supposed to walk with intentionality. One, two, three, four, five. Well, if that's science, I will take robot dinosaur. Kimberly, uh, you are a prosecutor, which is like being a scientist. Yes. Um, science is about stating... Prosecutor of justice, Greg. It, that's right. Um, science is about stating a theory, yeah. then attempting to disprove it. You want mm -hmm. people to disprove it mm -hmm. because that makes your theory or hypothesis stronger. He doesn't want that. Why? Well, because he doesn't want the facts and the science out there because then he might lose his show, right? Yeah. So there'd be a problem. And you can't walk with intention and talk with intention <laughs> if the facts get in the way, right? But this is what we saw, too, during the Obama administration. Sorry to upset you, Bob. But they refused to comply with requests to release the internal data and the information that really the public has a right to see to back these claims up, right? right? What are they so afraid of? Why don't they want to turn it over despite subpoenas and requests? They do this thing to try to hide it because they want to put forward a false narrative so that they can get people to come out and march and go nuts about this, saying that, you know, the earth is uh, going to be over and the whole deal and get upset about cumulus clouds. You know, Dana, I do admit that we, as I, I call myself a critic, make it easier for people like Bill Nye when you say it's a hoax. Right. Right. When you say when you pick again the other side, the other polarity or the other option, rather than saying Maybe there's something there, but let's look at the facts. Yeah, that there's something there. We don't know exactly what it is. We don't know exactly how to solve it, but we do think that here's some X, Y, and Z things that you should do in order to try to help at least mitigate the, the effects. Um, what's interesting is that in the next 100 days, um, after this first 100 days ends, uh, the White House is going to have to decide whether or not to continue with the Paris Climate Agreement mm -hmm. that President Obama signed us up for. Uh, there is internal debate in the White House, and that will be very interesting to see if he can do what you were talking about, which is to take you out of, take us out of the yeah. left-right debate on this. And is there a middle way? There perhaps? is. It's called lukewarming. 
That's what it's called. No, it's, it's actually exists. It's a it's a belief that it might be rising in, uh, in increments that may be beneficial for uh, the globe for a while. But we have time to figure it out instead of pay, spending a trillion dollars a year over a century, which is a hundred trillion dollars. Sorry, Jesse. I'm no, that's fine. I was just uh, I was listening to your monologue. It was a great monologue. Um, I especially like the fire breathing robot. Um, I was in West Virginia the other day, and I was talking to a woman who was put out of a job working for a coal mine by Obama's EPA regulations. So now she's out of work, and she has to get Obamacare, and she can't afford Obamacare because she got it. Her premiums tripled. So now she's really out of luck. So for people to say that they're passionate about the earth, but they're not compassionate about the people that live on the earth. I yeah. think is ridiculous. And then you have Al Gore, the big science guy, who sells current TV to Al Jazeera, owned by the biggest oil shakes in the Middle East. And Come fly, on. And, and flies on a big jet. And then it takes yeah. a jet over to the African kingdom. Wanna, Come on. I want to ask you, Bob, because you've been around in peace movements. And the, the March for Science, uh, to me, is the same kind of scam where you, you scope, scope out the obvious good. I march for peace. I march for love. I march by di for diversity. And if I disagree with you, then I'm evil, right? So yeah, marching I, for I, I, science makes me, if I don't like marching for science, I'm anti science. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, that's what we're saying. I'm supposed to be around science. I don't want to get into climate. Con anybody who doesn't think the climate is changing is, well, I, I can't agree with you. But I don't know the outcome. That's the thing. And I think yeah. that's the problem, make those predictions. However, Science, the federal government has over the last 40 years poured money into science, into university Love systems, science. into uh, whether you like it or not, it, it <laughs> breaking the part of the atom and, and uh, the development of nuclear power. Uh, the, the government has an incredibly important role to play in this. We need to keep pumping money into science because it, just look what NASA does. I, I agree with you, but this is you're proving my point that if you come out against the, the climate change dogma, you're basically saying I'm against all science. Yeah, but I'm then not. you stigmatize, you lose funding. I'm for NASA. I know that's what yeah. I'm saying. That's that's why I don't I, I don't agree with. I like premise. planets. Some that's of those some of those people were actually out there talking the about the importance of science. Climate Most people of become more like a religion. That's what it's become. Right. They're yelling.